Hey y'all, Ms. Z here. Today's lesson is going to go over two theorems, the triangle sum theorem and the exterior angle theorem. And all we're going to be doing today is finding the unknown angles. So our essential statement is I can determine angles using the triangle sum and exterior angle theorem. So we're going to go over a couple of definitions first and what everything means. So here we have the triangle sum theorem. It states that if you add all three interior angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So looking at this um, visual, the diagram, we have three inside angles, interior, and one outside angle, the number four right there. And algebraically, if we were to write the triangle sum theorem, it would look like this. It's the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three is equal to 180 degrees. Now, a couple of side vocabulary that I will be using today that you should probably know. The first one is interior angles. Okay, that just means the angles inside the triangle. The exterior angle is the outside triangle. Usually will be referred to this angle four right here. And the remote interior angles are the inside angles that are not connected to the exterior angle. So again, looking at this diagram, our remote interior angles would be one and two because they are opposite the exterior angle four right here and not connected to it. And the last bit of vocabulary um, is the exterior angle theorem. And that states that the re remote interior angles added together equal the exterior angle. Algebraically, it looks like this right here. The measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle four. So if you're looking over here at our diagram, one and two added up together equal this outside angle four. And right now what we're going to be doing is we'll do a couple of examples um, to demonstrate this. Okay, so here we have, let me just scroll up. Here we have three different examples. So let's start from left to right. This is a triangle. Okay, three sides, three angles. Now, we know that this angle is 55 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this is X. This is our unknown. We don't know what that is. But we also know that the triangle sum theorem states that all these three angles inside the triangle added up together equal 180 degrees. So to set up our equation, it would look like it doesn't matter which angle you take first. So let's go ahead and use 55. So 55 plus 60 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. That's how we can set up our equation. And then we can just solve for X. So first you would have to combine like terms. So our like terms are 55 and 60. So when we add 55 and 60, we get 115 plus X is equal to 180. Now this is just a one step equation, okay? Draw a line down the equal sign, find the side with the variable, find the number not attached to the variable, and perform the opposite operation. So the opposite of positive 115 is negative. So I'll subtract, oops, I'm running out of room. And then whatever 180 minus 115 is, that is what X equals. So X actually equals 65 degrees. And don't forget to label your angle with degrees. Angles are measured in degrees, so we label them like that. Okay, next example. So here I drew up a triangle like this. Um, we know that if X is on the outside of the triangle, we're looking for the exterior 
angle. And to find the exterior angle, we can use the exterior angle theorem that states that the two remote interior angles added up together equal the um, exterior angle. So really, yeah, I can set up an equation and write 110 plus 33 equals x. So, all right, let me just do that right up here. 110 plus 33 is equal to x. So what does x equal if I add 110 plus 33? Well, I know that x is equal to 143 degrees. Yeah, that's literally all you have to do for that one. But when we go on to our third example, you will notice that now you know the exterior angle, but you're trying to find one of the interior angles. And the interior angle is the one opposite the exterior angle, so it's a remote interior angle. So you can only use the theorem to solve this. Well, okay, no, you can't only use the theorem. You can find this angle and then use the triangle sum theorem, but let's just go ahead and use the exterior angle theorem here and set up our equation. So we know the two remote interior angles added up together, 24 plus x equal the exterior angle, which is 107. So there's our equation. This is a two, no, this is a one-step equation. Makes it even easier than a two-step equation. Draw your line, find the side with the variable, find the number not attached to the variable, perform the opposite operation, minus 24, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. All right, so x is equal to 107 minus 24, which is 83 degrees. So x equals 83 degrees. Now I was telling you the other thing you can do, there's many ways to do all these math problems. The other thing you can really do is you can find this angle right here because you know that this is a straight line and one of your angles is 107. You can subtract 107 from 180 to get this angle, and then you can add these three angles up and set them also equal to 180 using the triangle sum theorem. But that's just a little bit more work. Okay, and that's it. So remember, three angles inside the triangle add up to 180 degrees, and then the two remote interior angles added up equal the exterior angle. So you're going to be using those two theorems to solve for your unknown angles.